What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chris Rush with my Ninja Turtle son Jonah. Yo, um, just need to make this video about do not judge. Shut your face, okay? Do not judge. And the other statement I always hear, um, what is the other statement I always hear? God can forgive. These are two statements I'm hearing for people who are walking into abortion clinics to kill their children. And then what makes it even more mad is I got people on Facebook who actually back up the people who are saying that. So let me break down those two unbiblical statements. For one, do not judge. The statement doesn't go that way. The statement that what Jesus said is, do not judge, at least you be judged. The measure that you be judged by it will be used unto you. How can you point out the plank in your brother's eye when you or respect in your brother's eye if you have a plank in your eye first deal with the plank and I'm not quoting it but first deal with the plank in your own eye then you can help your brother with the speck that's what Jesus said and so when Jesus says that he actually means judge rightly people judging is biblical judging is right to say something is wrong and something is right biblical judging to say hey brother beating your wife is not okay Hey, brother, beating your children or drinking or, or, or sleeping around is not okay. We all fall down, but we all must get back up and, and, and sin no more and go on the path of righteousness. So, the first statement, uh, what's the first statement? <laughs> first statement, you know, um, do not judge. That's not the statement. That's not biblical. The other statement I'm hearing, and I'm, I'm about to like, I don't even know, I like, I'm about to like shoot myself in the face. If I hear somebody say one more time that God forgives people, God is not a joke. He's not to be mocked. The Bible says that do we do we sin more so grace can abound? Do I go out and murder because I think God's just going to forgive? Do I intentionally should go out my way to do sin because God forgives? These are statements we're hearing from people at the abortion clinic and these people are Christian one lady told me this past week I said are you a Christian she said yep and I'll be at church tomorrow because God forbid God forgives woman you're so far off you're not even saved you don't even know Christ because if you knew him he you would know that he would not want you to premeditate walk past all these believers walk past all these options and go and murder your child in your womb and to say God is gonna forgive me how disgusting how it makes me want to throw up up it just makes me just uh for a christian for a so-called christian to say god forgives so i could kill my baby and then actually get loud as if they got the moral high ground so i just need to clear that up for you guys that god is not here to forgive your sin if you just want to go murder your baby just because you want to he's not here to forgive your sin if you just want to sin unto sin us and the bible says in hebrews is that um if we keep on you know and, and again i'm paraphrasing but if we keep on um sinning um uh, after we've known about the grace of god after we've known about christ's sacrifice only thing that's left for us is judgment only things left for a person who says that type of stuff is complete judgment. There's the great the, the blood of Jesus does not apply to you because you continue to walk down the path of unrighteousness. All right. So Christians, let's drop that whole or fake Christians. I'm calling you out. If that's how you feel, don't judge and and God forgive. So I could you know we could murder our children and stuff like that. Please stop it because you are uh, misquoting the Bible. And it's pretty much heresy. It's not what the gospel is. Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Chris Rush. I want to thank you for watching this video. Please spread this video along and subscribe to the channel. I want to ask that you would um, please consider being a financial partner and to helping this movement continue. To. And so a couple of ways that um, you can help do that is for one, you can help us um, kickstart our radio show called um, All Hands on Deck Radio. And All Hands on Deck Radio will be a show that's going to uh, be recruiting um, people into the work of abolition to spread the um um, the ideology of abolition on the radio and begin to wake people up out of their apathy to end abortion on uh, We're going to be doing this on 980 KKMS. So we're trying to raise up five thousand dollars We got a thousand dollars raised as, as of today 
uh, and we're asking that uh, you would just go make a, a donation to that. The other way that you can help um, the movement and the gospel of Jesus Christ is helping me um, print these books out or uh, sending money in so we can print more of these books out. These is um, Another Tornado is Coming. And we're trying to give this to everybody in um, North Minneapolis. This book is, got, is, 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 is my testimony of what God is saying regarding the first tornado that came to North Minneapolis, the one that's coming, and the city's destiny. And it obviously has the, the message of repentance and turning back to God. So if you're able to help purchase these books, um, let me know that. And that will be awesome so we can continue to... Um, give this message to Minneapolis. I'm also raising up partners for the Mighty 300. So I'm looking for um, 300 partners for $10 a month. We, you will be able to do that to be a blessing. I just really appreciate um, your support in, in any way. Obviously, I'm always asking people to come out and do the work. Now, another way you could do is um, partner financially to make it to make sure it happens. So I want to just thank you for your support, your help. This is Chris Rush, All Hands on Deck.